And we're back with part two of Nightmare on Elm Street, and one interesting thing about the pause screen, you kind of get this baseline like in Mario 2, and then it also says hold for whatever reason instead of pause. I don't know, just a little nitpick. But either way, here we are in the second house, and the enemy placement gets a lot more obnoxious here as this uh, game goes on. So what we gotta do is just carefully evade these bats. Especially because it's just chock full of those small, fast enemies that you love to hate. And also, narrow platforms means a lot of cheap death. And again, I already had my share of that with Battle of Olympus, but we must persevere on. And punch more rats in the face, just because that's fun. Anyway, especially when you're getting dive bombed by this stupid bat. Yeah, that's the uh, problem with small, fast enemies. Anyway, uh, it's actually easier to jump over some of these enemies just because, uh... It's just kind of easy to get caught off guard by some of these stupid enemies. Especially, uh, spiders that jump over at irregular patterns. Alright, good. Um, yeah, so... One thing that is fun about this game is that... I mean, you do get your usual Halloween enemies, but... Incidentally, I do want to decide who the hell it was that decided mummies were supposed to be evil. Anyway, here's the, uh, knight, so... What we're doing is just shooting more devils, because that's always fun. And yeah, I was watching Tales from the Dark Side the movie yesterday, and... Um, I was just curious to know who the hell decided mummies were supposed to be evil. I mean, really all they are is just a dead pharaohs or something like that. But anyway, somebody with uh, more knowledge on Egyptian culture can hopefully enlighten me on that. But either way, uh, now that we got the radio, we will wake up and go back into the uh, daytime. Okay, I don't need you on my ass. And you know what, I don't need you on my ass either. Yeah, unfortunately that's gonna happen a lot, or especially because these stupid enemies take a lot of hits to kill. That's because the uh, enemy placement's pretty obnoxious here. Um, actually I think I'm gonna fight the boss soon. So I think I'm just gonna stay here and go to sleep. But yeah, one thing that does, uh, make this game tougher as the game goes on is the platforming gets trickier and... Also, just the bosses get a little bit tougher too. But I mean, that shouldn't apply here, but you never know. So instead, uh, what... I mean, for Halloween, uh, hopefully everybody's having fun here. Because that's what Halloween's supposed to be about. And now that we're here, so let's just go ahead and get the acrobat going and fight the next boss. And this is gonna be pretty much the same concept. Damn it. Don't need to be dying here. Um. Yeah, this is the same concept, except uh, Freddy also throws his tongues at you. And, of course, there's that Simpsons line with a, uh, You must have the tongue, but can you handle a live one? Or with Martin as the Wizard of Latin. <laughs> anyway, uh... Let's just go ahead and take care of you, hopefully. I mean, hopefully uh, I'll just take care of this guy without dying, even though he's being really obnoxious prick today. Alright, good. We uh, got through there only dying once. Uh, still less than ideal, but I mean, at least we uh, got through there with six lives intact. And you do get a short amount of continue, so especially because later on it's just going to be really easy to burn through a lot of lives with uh, the way some of these later stages are set up. So just like before, I'm just going to call or find the third house and then just call it there. So, let's see, we just gotta... No, oh, you bastard. You know what I don't need is just getting hit like this. Especially if I use stupid bats. You know what? Fuck you, die. Anyway, uh... Let's just go in this house. And then let's go ahead and call the video here, so... Join me next time as we take on the third house. And we'll see you then.